back before naval combat at sea. Silencio! Silencio! Hook blades and yes, even before two hidden blades came Assassin's Creed 1. Assassin's Creed follows the story of Altair as he seeks to regain his assassin rank. Like the future games, this one takes place in a historic setting. This one's Jerusalem during the Crusades. Now before I dive into the setting and the scenery, let's first talk about gameplay mechanics. So, so the game gradually gives you back your original weapons as well as your skills. The weapons include a sword, dagger, throwing knives, and of course the hidden blade. The combat is pretty good in the first one, but it's definitely improved through the years. You can block attacks, counter, and dodge. Now if you've played the newer games, you'll find the hidden blade a little different in this one. The hidden blade can't really be used in a fight. The sword combat is pretty good, but like I've said before, they've definitely improved over the years for the series. Uh, one thing that may disappoint you is the lack of a crossbow that you might see in the trailer. Uh, sadly, the crossbow was cut out due to the fact that it made assassinations easier, but you can do fine without it. Now you've got all of the weapons, so you need something to use them on. As you go throughout the game, you are tasked with gathering information and killing targets chosen by the Master of Assassins. This is done in different ways and in different locations. First, you have to go up to the viewpoint and sink in order to see your choices. Usually, you have to complete three of these tasks to gather enough information for the kill. This information can actually be pretty useful and it makes killing your target easier. These tasks kind of feel like mini-games and they're pretty fun. There's pickpocketing, gathering flags, and even killing targets. There is more than that, but I'll let you explore the other options. Okay, so you've got the intel, now it's time for the kill. Your targets vary from either sneaking into their base of operations and trying to stealthily kill them, or dueling them. If you fail at stealth, then you'll probably either have to duel them or chase them. Depends on how much they value their lives. This is pretty fun and never really gets boring. In reality, the game is a little repetitive, but to be honest, it never really felt that way for me. Just enjoy the moment. Alright, so we've talked about assassinating big targets, now let's move on to the little henchmen. So as you go through the game, you'll fight a variety of enemies such as guys of swords, heavy armor guys, guys of bows, guys of maces, and so on. The combat isn't really that hard and it doesn't really take much getting used to. The enemy AI is fairly good, but sometimes a little laughable. They do sometimes pose a challenge though, which is always fun. Oh, and just like you, they can't swim. Looks like you're not all that different from them deep down. So far we've covered uh, killing, killing, and uh, well, more killing. So now on to the scenery. So the game takes place during the Crusades, hence all the Templars, in the area of and even in Jerusalem. The cities you'll visit are fairly large and full of life. You'll see at least you'll see at least four different people, usually a bit more, in most of the areas on the streets. The cities look great for its time, and the game runs rather smoothly. How do you get to these cities, though? You may be wondering. Well. You will eventually unlock a fast traveling system, which means you'll travel fast. It's not too different from what you'll find in Assassin's Creed 2, but you won't need a boat. As soon as you run out of the Assassin's HQ, you'll get an option to fast travel. If you'd rather see the world for yourself, you can always travel by horse. So now on to the last bit of stuff before I give my final rating. So the voice acting's pretty darn good, even if Altair has an American accent for. Stand well enough. Show yourself. for some reason. You get used to it though. The graphics, like I said, are pretty great for its time, and even the soundtrack is great. It provides even more attention to tense situations. Overall, this game is a really great game. If you haven't played any of the Assassin's Creed games before, this is definitely a great starting point. You'll definitely appreciate the newer mechanics in the later game if you start from this one. And if you already have played some of the Assassin's Creed games and have not played this one, this is a great chance to see what you missed. Overall, I would give this a 5 out of 6, which on my rating scale is a highly recommended. So, okay. So, it may not be the best Assassin's Creed there is. <coughs> Assassin's Creed 2. <coughs> but it's definitely a great start to an amazing franchise. So, I'm Space Wizard, and thank you for watching and listening to my review. And give it a try. It's an amazing game.